The Ark of Indiana presents Pathways to Employment. Meet Ryan Steele, who works in the community. Ryan works two jobs at Purdue University at Mackey Arena in the equipment room and at Riley Food Court. When he was um, getting ready to graduate from high school, he had not been in any of the real work programs there. I mean, he had just uh, been going through the classes, taking the special education, but also some regular classes. And uh, he'd been the manager for the girls' basketball team and had always expressed a lot of interest in sports for, uh, through all the activities with uh, high school as well as, um, oh, you know, his uh, sister and brother and, and all the things that they've done. So anyway, we, uh, when he graduated, we knew that, you know, what would be an ideal job would be to somehow be associated with Purdue and, and athletics to some degree. And we were very fortunate in that one of the parents at Harrison High School where he attended, who's, who knew Ryan to just seeing him and all, is the um, manager of the equipment athletic department at Purdue. So we got in touch with him directly. I also talked to some people I knew at Purdue associated with the athletic program and and really outside any kind of uh, work assistance uh, programs that uh, Lafayette Community offers, we were able to kind of get Ryan channeled into this type of activity and very supportive and I, you know, he got started there after a couple of months and he's been there now for three plus years or whatever. Go upstairs and take some basketballs off? I can't wait. Yeah. You know where you're going? Mash Painter. Okay. In his dream job, Ryan delivers basketballs for autographing by Coach we Painter. We talk about it. He comes in, we talk about it a little bit. So, uh, the but he's point. done a great job for us. Well, he's done you. a great job for us and he helps dab out. He probably takes pride in his job. Thanks. He does. Um. So he's, uh, I mean, a lot of it was because of people knowing him beforehand and having some level of association and comfort and uh, then just a willingness to support a young man that really enjoyed sports. Mm -hmm. So I mean that's how he got started at Purdue and the second opportunity, the one at the food court, came more recently but again it was because of some personal contacts actually with, uh, it's actually my son's father-in-law who works with individuals with uh, special needs or challenges and uh, and work study programs and he just knew that Purdue had these opportunities and when the right one came along he kind of put Ryan's name in the hat and they brought him in and talked to him and you know he hit a home run and got started. I had to wake up certain time maybe 6 30 or 6 o'clock and I have to, I have to work eight o'clock in the morning to to eleven a.m. Mm -hmm. Then from there, I I walk to Mackey to um Wally Food Court. Eat lunch at eleven thirty. Then work at noon at Wally Food Court until three o'clock. I'm in food and housing. And Ryan comes in and uh, does the dishes and and pretty much tidies up whatever they need done. That's a very good worker. I feel working here just like everyone loves me. You know, also part of my family. It's always meant to me for reason, care, loving. They always inspire me very much. at least in our case, we've uh, been very fortunate to, I mean, because of Ryan's overall involvement in different activities, he's gotten to know people, and as a result, there's a comfort level 
-hmm. with uh, Ryan's uh, capabilities and consequently uh, we found very supportive people within the community that already knew him not necessarily just trying to start from ground zero with uh, introducing him to situations or people that may not have been familiar with him before. Um, he's just non-judgmental. I mean, everybody is the same and everybody is great and whether you're six foot eight and a basketball star or uh, the student walking through the line at the, the food court, you're, you're all just the same. So, I mean, yeah. he's just remarkably uh, non-judgmental and doesn't um, tend to put anybody into categories. He just likes them all. <laughs> That's great. But I would certainly encourage uh, anyone just to let your child or young adult do what they truly try to or love to do and, and support them. And, and usually the people around you are a lot more supportive than um, you probably would have expected. He coaches our team. <laughs> this guy coaches our team right here. But I can't find him when we lose. <laughs>